Hi, everybody. It is good to have you here on such a nice day and for such a great occasion. Uh, I am proud, in just a few minutes, I am going to be signing the Animal Abuse Statute Overhaul. I'm going to make that effective today. Yes, go ahead. And hold, huh? You are going to hear from a number of other people who are very instrumental in getting this passed, but I just want to say a few words. This is really landmark legislation, as you know. This is important because it brings, and it's, it's taken far too long for Pennsylvania to get, to get here, but it updates our animal abuse and, uh, statute and increases penalties for anyone found to be abusing or neglecting an animal. I think by now you've all heard the story of Libre, uh, who was found in deplorable conditions and thankfully uh, was brought back to good health, and he's here. Uh, and he, yes, there he is. <laughs> Say hi. Yes. <laughs> and I have it on good authority that he is very proud to have this legislation called Libre's Law. That's a, I think he's pretty proud. Anyway, unfortunately, his story is, is too common in, in Pennsylvania. And this bipartisan legislative package is aimed at addressing that and trying to make sure that the, there are no Libres in our future. No one should be allowed to get away with cruel anim, animal treatment. No one should be uh, allowed to get away with the neglect uh, of animals. And now, thanks to this statute, uh, they won't be able to get away with it. So again, that's a big deal. Yes, it is. So I got to say, I was, I was thrilled to meet Libre last week. I'm not sure he was quite as thrilled to meet me. Well, honesty, but I was really thrilled to, to meet him, and, and he ha is a he is full of energy, <laughs> full of energy, and I think anyone who saw the the uh, uh, him on the, the, the video clip, he, he was uh, uh, actually very friendly and 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 uh, really full of full of life. So I I think this is a, a great thing for him, and again for every animal in Pennsylvania like him. Unfortunately, up until now. Pennsylvania was one of only three states in the entire country without this kind of tough law against animal cruelty. And so we're signing, I'm signing this, we've done this because I think all of us have recognized, so many of us, that this is, animal cruelty is not consistent with Pennsylvania's values. And again, it's not consistent with the rest of the country. Uh, so this statute will bring us in line with the rest of the country uh, in giving us higher standards for the care and well-being of our pets and animals. Uh, this package was a long time coming, and I'm really proud to be able to sign it today. But I want to thank, you're going to hear from S Representative Stevens in a minute, but Todd Stevens, Richard Alloway, who you'll hear from in a minute, and also Ryan Bizarro, Bizarro who you're going to hear from in, in a minute, for all their work on leading the passage of this bill. And there are people behind me, all of whom had a big uh, impact on, on getting this to, to my desk. So we need to make sure that we are treating uh, our animals with, with respect. We need to, to uh, bring an end to the deplorable uh, conduct that allows people to think that they can abuse animals in Pennsylvania. Uh, and I think this law really, really takes us a long way toward doing just that. So now I am honored to introduce again, as I said, one of the people who really led the fight in this. And I want to congratulate him on his success and ask him to say a few words, Representative Todd Stevens. Todd? Well, um, thank you, Governor Wolf, for your steadfast support for this bill and for animals in Pennsylvania. This is how government should work, right? Legislators from both sides of the aisle and the House and Senate and Governor working collaboratively together to solve problems. Uh, this journey began almost a year ago. Uh, last July, Governor, I don't know if you know this, but you were signing my animal fighting paraphernalia bill, and following that bill signing, um, uh, Kristen Tulo and uh, Heidi Prescott and, and uh, Sarah Speed and I were talking about abuse of horses because of the horse that was shot with paintballs. We all may, may remember that from last, uh, last summer. I grew up on a horse farm and, uh, and that was deeply concerning to me. On top of that, I was a prosecutor and I understand the links between animal abuse and child abuse and domestic violence. Um, so based on that conversation, I set out to, to learn a little bit more about the penalties and realize that in Pennsylvania, torturing or, or seriously abusing an animal in most instances was punishable only by the equivalent of a traffic ticket. 
And that was just wrong. So uh, we set out to change that. Shortly thereafter, Libre emerged, and news of his horrific abuse and heroic recovery spread across Pennsylvania. My good friend, Senator Rich Alloway, took up the mantle and began immediately pushing for tougher penalties for animal abuse over in the Senate. And we worked shoulder to shoulder with my Democratic colleague, Ryan Bizarro, in the House to try to get that legislation across the finish line last session, but ran... <laughs> But well, we came up just a little short. And so uh, we did what I think um, everyone should do, is regroup. And uh, we pulled back and we said, all right, what are we gonna do? And um, you know, motivated by all the horrific animal abuse of last summer, we heard about turtles being blown up with M80s. We heard about horses being beaten uh, on a street uh, because they collapsed in the summer heat while pulling a cart full of uh, watermelons. And then of course, Libre. So, uh, we decided to regroup and do something a little bigger, a little more comprehensive, and here we are today celebrating a resounding victory for animals in Pennsylvania. Until now, those torturing or severely abusing most animals, as I mentioned, only received the equivalent of a traffic ticket. This bill changes that, prescribing felony penalties for the most egregious abusers, and that's thanks to the efforts of Senator Alloway, Representative Dom Costa, and Representative Chris Sonato, who've uh, pursued those tougher penalties in the past. They certainly deserve a round of applause. Until now, veterinarians were reluctant to report animal abuse to the authorities for fear of retaliatory lawsuits. This bill changes that, thanks to the efforts of my colleague, Representative Mark Keller. He deserves a round of applause, too. <laughs> Until now, convicted felony level abusers could have their animals returned to them. This bill changes that, thanks to the efforts of my colleague, Representative Ryan Bizarro. Until now, our local humane societies were paying far too much in liability insurance premiums because of the potential for frivolous lawsuits against humane police officers. This bill changes that thanks to the efforts of my colleague, Representative Frank Farry. Until now, it was difficult to remove rogue humane police officers who do a disservice to animals by abusing their authority. This bill changes that thanks to the efforts of Representative Keith Greiner and uh, Lancaster County District Attorney Craig Stedman, who I know is here today as well. <laughs> Until now, abusing horses carried a lesser penalty than abusing some other animals. This bill changes that thanks to the efforts of Senator John Eichelberger over in the Senate. And until now, despite efforts to address it going back more than a decade, dogs could be tethered outdoors in the elements with no food, water, or shelter by a short chain, oftentimes weighing more than they do, for indefinite periods of time. This bill changes that thanks to the efforts of former House member and now Senator Mario Scavello, who is here. <laughs> This bill has been called the most comprehensive animal protection bill in Pennsylvania history, and for good reason. But a bill like this doesn't happen on its own. It's the result of legislators from both sides of the aisle, in the House and Senate, working together with the governor to make this a reality. In closing, I do want to thank a few other folks as well as all those who have uh, components in this bill. Uh, House Judiciary Chairman Ron Marsico is here. and. He and his executive director, Tom Dimmick, uh, supported this bill and these efforts from the beginning and worked tirelessly to, to get them across the finish line. Uh, House Majority Leader Dave Reed and Marsha Lampman, Speaker Mike Terzai, over in the Senate, Judiciary Chairman Stuart Greenleaf, uh, the Majority Leader Jake Corman and the President Pro Tem Joe Scarnati, in addition to Sarah Speed, Lancaster County DA Craig Stedman, and of course, Kristen Tulo and Heidi Prescott. They all deserve a round of applause. And last, but certainly not least, thanks to the Humane Society of the United States, Humane PA, and most importantly, the thousands of advocates who contacted their representatives and senators throughout this process. You have been our inspiration and our motivation. And without your tireless efforts, today would not be a reality. Thank you so much for helping us.
Now, when they said I got to introduce Rich Alloway, I thought, great, I have an open mic and I can say whatever I'd like. <laughs> but uh, we're longtime friends, so I'll, uh, I'll make sure that it's, uh, it's straight and to the point. It is an honor and, and privilege to introduce Rich. Um, he is by far the most passionate champion for animals over in the Pennsylvania Senate. His work to increase the penalties for animal abuse last session uh, laid the groundwork for what we're doing today. And frankly, uh, he said to me, look, this session, he said, you look, you get that bill out of the house and I will get it onto the governor's desk. And you know what, he did it. And thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Rich Alloway. Comprehensive speech. Man, that, that was a comprehensive speech. Ryan, we don't have to say anything. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Representative Stevens, Todd and I went to college together years ago, and we were friends in college, and then we parted ways and went and did our, our life, and then lo and behold, our paths crossed again at the Pennsylvania legislature. So it was uh, seemed very appropriate to work with him uh, on this. But First of all, I want to thank everyone up here. Every person standing up here had a part of this. This bill was not about one person. This was about everyone who worked together. And as Todd said, the legislative process worked. You are the ones that kept on the phones, that wrote the emails, that came to the Capitol day after day to, to implore our legislators to get this thing done. And that's why this got done. So thank you to all of you for the work that you gave and the support that you gave to us. So thank you. <laughs> And then, and then there's the star of the show. I mean, what else can you say about this guy? I mean, he is a total rock star. When, when, when Libre comes into the Capitol, the whole Capitol starts to buzz. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. He comes in my office and we send out an email. Libre's in my office and my office is swarmed with, with people who want to meet him and, and get their picture with him. So, you know, think, look at these pictures up here. You've seen him on our Facebook page. You've seen him in the media the pictures of what he looked like when he was found and rescued. And I see Dr. Pryor down there, who's the main man. We love that guy. <laughs> Dr. Pryor took that little guy in, and, and it was a miracle. And just you just can't believe it. I, I think I saw him like a week after you, you had him. And uh, it was just amazing that he was able to even be up and moving around. And then the following week was just even incredible when he was walking around your office. <laughs> it's a little funny story. He comes walking out of, of the vet's office. He's in the lobby, and he's just moseying around like, like he owns the place, right? Because that's how he is. And he just turns around and takes a crap right there in the middle of the thing. <laughs> and we're like, that's Libre. That's Libre, right? I mean, he just he owns it, right? He owns it. He's a champion. Libre, Janine, thank you for everything that you did. And, and it's because of this little guy, but thank you all so much. Now, we're going to bring Libre into the negotiating table at the budget, because apparently <laughs> he can bring everybody together, and that's what we want. So thank you very much. <laughs> Libre will get it done. Um, next up is Representative Bizarro from Erie, uh, a good friend of ours who, who, again, like everyone up here, led the charge, pulled the wagon, and, and thank you for your, Brian, thank you for supporting Come up and say what Todd didn't already say. Governor, it's going to be hard to fill in any gaps because everything's pretty much been covered, but today is a new day for animals of all kind in Pennsylvania. We are getting rid of the archaic laws that have been plaguing this state regarding animal cruelty for years, and it was a team effort complete team effort, uh, bipartisan support in both chambers. Um, but honestly, we wouldn't have got this far without all of you. This is very much uh, a win for what's going on here in the Capitol, but this is your win. So thank you all for everything, for all your time and commitment and support and advocacy. Certainly, we could not have done this without you. Um, again, uh, I couldn't be more pleased to be a part of this. What started off as a simple animal forfeiture bill morphed into something amazing, a complete overhaul of, of our former laws. So 60 days from now, uh, justice will be served for our four-legged friends. Thanks again. And I greatly appreciate uh, everything that you've done. And keep fighting the good fight, because there's still a lot more changes that, that need to be done. So thanks again. But I would be remiss if I did not. <laughs> If I did not uh, uh, introduce uh, uh, Kristen Tulo, who 
this really could not have been possible without her. She knocked on every legislator and senator's door multiple times. Uh, you know, we, she has her own office basically here in the Capitol. She's down here so much. I'm pretty sure she even camped out a few nights. Uh, yeah. Her tireless advocacy, none of this could have been possible really without her. So Kristen, Thank it's you. all you. Thank you so yeah. much. Hi, everyone. Not only are we celebrating today's bill signing, but we are also celebrating the uh, pets and hot car legislation that was introduced by representatives Frank Ferry and Dom Costa, which just voted out of House Judiciary Committee. The story of a puppy named Libre, the cruelty he suffered, and his miraculous recovery is what sparked public dialogue to call on the Pennsylvania General Assembly to take animal cruelty crimes seriously. Representative Todd Stevens introduced House Bill 1238, incorporating Senator Richard Alloway's Libre's law, and bipartisan support from the following legislators we have to give a shout out to. Representatives Ryan Bizarro, Representatives Dom Costa, Representative Ferry, Representative Keller, Representative Greiner, Representative Marsico, Representative Reed, and Senato. Big round of applause. And of course, to Senator Richard Alloway and John Eichelberger. And now, we are witnessing history in the making with the passing of the most comprehensive animal protection package in state history. <laughs> Powered by your steadfast presence, perseverance, and determination through this campaign, House Bill 1238 has reached the governor's desk. <laughs> with pen in hand, he's ready to sign this bill into law. Thank you from the bottom of my heart across the state to organizations, the Fraternal Order of Police, the District Attorney Association and Craig Stedman, Center for Children's Justice, Pennsylvania Vet Medical Association, Federated Humane Societies of Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania SPCA. And of course, to Justice for Libre and the Army of Advocates, in partnership with Speranza and Humane PA. And to all the supportive groups who worked so hard to see this bill pass. Of course, recognizing our special canine guest who are here, we have Aladdin and Libre, and they represent the components of House Bill 1238. Of course, to the wonderful, supportive media for keeping cruelty issues in the public eye. And before we get uh, go, I just want to take a minute to go through the key components of the bill. And KC is going to be holding these posters because this is representative of why these issues were important. Biscuit. The Anna Shelter took Biscuit in. He was the victim of a domestic violence dispute. The perpetrator broke his jaw and put 13 cigarettes out across his body. While the Anna Shelter paid $4,100 in medical cost, Representative Ryan Bizarro's mandatory forfeiture requires that upon conviction of animal cruelty, the abused animal be forfeited to a shelter. Second, Senator Alloway's Libre's Law over here. Amy, you guys, have, yeah, right here. This is Libre's Law. Increases penalties for egregious acts of cruelty, and in cases like these, a felony. Third, inclement weather and tethering regulations. Tanner came to animal care sanctuary at 10 years old, emaciated, no muscle mass, barely able to walk. After spending 10 years, 10 years, on the end of a chain, Tanner was adopted and spent his last few months in the comfort of a loving home. This bill puts reasonable limitations on tethering dogs who are tethered as a means of confinement. Fourth, added protection for horses. This bill came to be known as Cordelia's Law after Senator Eichelberger came across a case in his district. 
Cordelia had no shelter, no food, no water, and suffering from starvation. After 10 days of intensive vet and foster care, Cordelia could not be saved. We are so grateful for this bill because the perpetrator paid a mere fine and under this new, large, this new law, misdemeanor or felony charges could be filed. Yeah. And finally, civil immunity provided for veterinarians like Dr. Pryor and Humane Society police officers like Jen Neal. Where's Jen? Where's Jen? Is Jen down there? As you can see, pictured here, Dr. Pryor and Officer Neals with Libre, those that we depend on to protect our animals deserve our protection. Just a few examples of why we needed a change in this law. And in closing, the passing of House Bill 1238 is a historic legislative step toward protecting animals from abuse and neglect. In the words of a fellow advocate and a woman whom I deeply admire and is here with us today, my mom, <laughs> now that we've finally arrived, the journey has truly just begun. Governor, we're ready when you are. Thank you, Governor Wolf. Dr. Pryor took that little guy in and, and it was Pizarro, who you're gonna hear from in, in a minute, did all their work on leading the passage of this bill and the people behind me, all of them had a big uh, Animal 
interest. No one should be uh, allowed to get away with the neglect uh, of animals. And now, thanks to this statute, uh, they won't be able to get away with it. Uh, actually, very friendly and, and, and really full of, full of life. So I, I think this is a, a great thing for him. And again, for every animal in Pennsylvania license. Unfortunately, up until next